If you find yourself with a Final Cut Pro 7 project or sequence that you would like to utilize or update in a 64-bit program and Final Cut Pro 10 is not an option, one thing you can do is open the project or sequence in Adobe's Premiere Pro CS 5.5. Now here we have a Final Cut Pro 7 project. I will go ahead and select my timeline or sequence and I will play the sequence so we can see that we have three tracks consisting of video, moving text, and b-roll. Now I will go ahead and select to export the sequence. Now to do that, make sure your sequence is selected or timeline. Go to the file menu, select on export, select on XML. You will see here it says export XML, one sequence, the latest format version, and save project with latest metadata which is recommended. You may want to exercise the option of including the master clips outside of your selection. Select on OK. You will see here it asks me to save it to a particular spot and I'm going to save it to a desktop. The name of the sequence is Promo Sample. I'll select on Save. I will now quit Final Cut Pro and launch Adobe Premiere. Now I may get a message regarding items that are outside of the sequence which may have been repaired or worked on in Soundtrack Pro and Motion which will not translate in Adobe Premiere. Now here we have a window asking for a new project or an existing project for argument's sake I'll select on the recent project which is blank. Now here on the left hand side we have our browser I will select on the file menu in the menu I'll select on import desktop promo sample which is our XML file I'll select on import here is the message that I was mentioning before, translation report. So the, again, this is regarding some items that may have been in the bin or in the project that may have been manipulated in Soundtrack Pro or Motion. I'll select an OK. And in our bin, or I should say our browser, I'll select to show you that we have a bin named promo sample I will open that up and you should see some of the items that may have been included in our project you will also see our sequence named promo sample I will double click on that sequence and you will see here our sequence. Now one thing I would like to mention is that if you're used to your keyboard shortcuts in Final Cut Pro 7 you can go ahead and utilize those keyboard shortcuts in Premiere Pro. You may go to the Premiere Pro menu, select on keyboard shortcuts and here you will see keyboard layout preset Final Cut Pro 7.0 which I already set. By default, this will be set to Adobe Premiere Pro, of course. But I just want to show you that you do have the option of making it Avid Media Composer 5 or Final Cut Pro 7. I will select an OK. And if you're familiar with Final Cut Pro 7 keyboard shortcuts, if you press the, letter sh the Shift key and the letter Z as in Zebra, you will view your timeline with all the clips in view. So I will select the Shift and Z key, and sure enough, my keyboard shortcut works. You are able to see all of the clips that were in my sequence, including the locked audio tracks. So everything translated into Adobe Premiere. 
if I were to play this by selecting the play button or the space bar, you will see that all of my elements were in fact translated directly in Adobe Premiere 5.5. So all three tracks came in, all the elements have come in exactly as they were in Final Cut Pro 7. Thank you for watching, this is Lewis here for Chesapeake Systems.